Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Peter Porker from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Now we're going to get started in the center of our page with a circle for the nose. So we start from the very top, work our way around towards the bottom of the circle, and then back up toward the top. Now before we add any detail to the nose, let's draw in the eyes. So in the center, we're gonna step up, leave a gap in the middle, we're gonna draw two dots on the left and right. Now on the left dot, I'm gonna draw an angled line, going straight up towards the left, and then on the right, we're gonna go up towards the right. Now let's curve the outside of the eye in behind the nose. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve around, and then just pull that in behind the side of the nose. Now from the inside, I'm gonna draw a short angle line coming down and out towards the top of the nose. Now let's thicken up the eyes. We're just gonna trace along the inside of the eye. Starting from the top, we're just gonna draw a straight angle line. I'm gonna fill that area in black. And I'm gonna trace the outside. Maybe an even space gap all the way around. We'll fill that in black as well. And then also on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw two smaller eyes in the center of the nose. Leaving a gap in the middle, draw two dots side by side. I'm gonna angle up towards the left, and then the right. Now we're gonna curve down and then up. Now we're just gonna thicken these up along the inside. Now from here, we're gonna draw on the top of the head. So from the side of the nose, we're gonna step out, start with that point, we're gonna curve around and then up towards the top. Going out, we're just gonna pull this up towards the middle. We're gonna work our way back down towards the right side. Now from here, we're gonna bump out the cheeks and come in towards the neck. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve this around and then pull that in. Do the same thing on the right side. And we're gonna pull this in and then down towards the center, leaving a gap. Now we're gonna move up to the top and draw on the ears. On the left side, I'm gonna draw a straight angle line coming up and out towards the left, and then the right. Now I'm gonna curve down and out towards the tip of the ear. Come down, and then out. Now we're gonna draw the inside edge of the ear. Starting from the left, I'm gonna curve it down, and we're gonna pull that up, aiming towards the tip, and stop right about there. Now we're gonna do an overlap. From this point, we're gonna step out, curve down, and then in. We're gonna be adding the lines in after we've drawn in the body. So let's move down. On the side of the neck, we're gonna step out. We're gonna round out the side of the body, going out, and then pulling that in towards the waist. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. Stepping over, curve out, and then in towards the waist. Let's connect these two points with a curve coming down the middle and then back up. Now we're gonna step down and draw the lower torso. From the left side, we're gonna curve down and up towards the right. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. On the left side, we're gonna draw a straight angle line coming down towards the left heel and then the right heel. Now back on the left side, we're gonna draw on the foot. We start from the heel, we'll curve down and up towards the first toe. Now we're gonna hook this over, curving up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down and up towards the first toe. We'll hook over and in. Let's add in the second toe. From this point, we're gonna step up, draw a straight line coming out. Now we're gonna curve over that first toe and then down towards the heel. Go up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, a short line going across, go up, and then down towards the heel. Now from the hip, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the top of the foot. Come down for the top. Do the same thing on the right side. 
Now about halfway down the leg, on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve. Left to right, coming down and up. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, we're gonna step down, draw an angled line coming down and out towards the inside of the elbow on both sides. Now we're gonna curve down and in, leaving a gap just on the inside of the body there. Now we're gonna draw the top part of the hand. We're gonna go up and then hook that in, right in behind the body. Now let's go back up towards the side of the neck. We're gonna round up the shoulder. We're gonna go up. I'm gonna round up the arm, coming down towards the elbow to the same height as we have on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, and then down. From the elbow, we're gonna curve the lower part of the arm. Come down, and then in towards the wrist. Now I'll add the lower part of the hand. Starting from the wrist, we're gonna curve down, and curve up in behind the body. Now we're going to separate out the colored sections of the suit. Starting from the elbow, we're going to curve down and up towards the elbow, curve up and in towards the top of that line. Do the same thing on the right. Curve down and up. Now from the side of the body, we'll curve around and then down. Now from that same point, I'm going to taper down towards the waist to right about there. And we'll hook this up towards the side of the body. Now in the center of the body, we're gonna add the spider. We're gonna start at the top with a small oval. We're gonna fill that in black. Now at the bottom, we're gonna draw a larger oval. And we'll fill that in black. Now we're gonna add the top arms of the spider. In between the ovals, we're gonna start with a short angle line going up and out on both sides. Now we're gonna go up and hook that in. Draw on the second set. Going out a little bit further. Now I'm going to hook that up and in. Let's draw the lower legs. From that same point, we're going to come down and out on both sides. I'm going to come down and in. And I'll draw the second set. Going out in between. And then hook this around. Now we're going to go in and add the spider web pattern. We're going to start with the nose first. From the top of the circle, we're going to draw a straight line coming down in between the eyes. Now from the center, we're going to angle up just above the left eye and then the right eye. Now from the center, we're going to angle down and out toward the left and then the right. Now on the side of each eye, we're just going to draw a short angle line coming out towards the side of the nose. Now let's add the webbing. We're going to start with the top. On the left side, we're gonna draw a curve, coming down and up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna step up about halfway and draw that same curve. Now along the bottom, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. On the left, we're gonna curve up and then down. And then about halfway, we'll draw that same curve. Now from the end of this line, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left right. Now at the end of this web, we're just going to go up underneath the eye. Let's do the same thing along the top. From the top, we're going to curve down in behind the eye and then out. And then from the bottom, we'll curve down underneath the eye. Now we're going to add the webbing to the head. Start from the top of the head, right in the middle. We're going to come straight down with a straight line just in between the eyes. Now from here, I'm going to curve this down and out towards the left eye and then the right eye. Now from that same point, we're going to curve over the eye towards the left side of the head. Going out and then over. Now from the top of the cheek, I'm going to curve in behind the nose. Coming in. Now halfway between this point and the cheek, draw a curve coming down and in behind the eye. Now we're going to move to the side of the nose, curve around and then down. Now we're going to step in, curve around and then in towards the side of the neck. 
And then from the bottom of the nose, I'm gonna draw a straight line coming down just above the spider. Now let's add in the webbing. On the left side, starting from the outside line, we're gonna curve down and up. We're gonna mirror that on the right side. Now let's step up. Curve down and up. We'll add one more. We're gonna go all the way up to the top here. Curve down and then up. Now starting from the end of this line, I'm gonna curve in and then back out. We're just gonna repeat this same thing on the right side and we'll work our way down. Curve in and then out towards the cheek. Let's do the same thing to the lower web. Just continue that curve. And we're gonna come in and then down. And then with this inside, we'll just go in behind the eye. Now we'll continue working our way down. So from that same point, we'll curve in and then down. And we're gonna go across, going up and then in. Now we'll come in towards the center line, going up and then down. Let's do the same thing from this line, curving in and down. And then go just underneath the nose. Now we're going to start on the left side of the shoulder, we're going to curve in and then down. We're just going to repeat this curve all the way down towards the elbow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go along the forearm, starting from the inside of the elbow, we're just going to curve across just above the wrist, and then we'll connect the wrist with another curve. Now on the hand, we're just gonna split this in half. From the lower part of the wrist, we're gonna curve across and in behind the body. Now we're gonna add one web. From the bottom, we're gonna curve up and then in, and then along the top. Let's move down and add the webbing to the toes. We start on the inside toe, curve in and down. Now from the top of the toe, we're gonna curve in and then down. Do the same thing with the second toe. Curve in behind the front toe. We'll do that twice. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna split the lower part of the leg in half. So halfway along this curve, we're gonna come down in an angle toward the top of the foot that on both sides. Now we're gonna add the webbing. Starting from the left side, we're gonna go up, and then down towards the center. The same thing in. We we'll do that one more time, just up above. Let's do the same thing on the right side. And then along the top. Now let's add a little bit more webbing along the bottom of the stomach. Starting from the center, draw a straight line coming up just underneath the spider. We step over towards the left, Draw another straight line going up, and then on the right, we'll go up. Let's add the lower part of the webbing. Starting from the center, we're gonna go up, curve up, and then down towards the left, and then the right. Now on the left side, we're gonna go up and out towards the side of the body. Let's add one more layer. From the top, we're gonna step down, curve up, and then down towards the left and right. Now from here, we're just gonna curve up and then down towards that corner of that trim. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Peter Porker from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and share your art with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or by email for a chance to be featured on our daily spotlight. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.